Hey Zalifas, this is Super Zamaga Barbecue, and today we are going to be getting ourselves not just one female card, but two. Yes, we got some King of the Ring awards, and spoiler alert, one of them's a pro, which is really freaking awesome for me. So I'm going to get a pro for one of these cards. Which one's it going to be? We'll find out really, really soon. Plus, we're also going to have a look at the brand new Mankind event card that has been 100% announced. And yes, I got it wrong. There's no new tier, but it's actually really strange that there isn't a new tier. We've had the Up Arrow Mind the Bank Charlotte. We've had a Down Arrow Elite, which is a tag. And then we've got a tag in Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. Maybe a new tier is coming, but it certainly isn't coming this week, it seems. Unless there's some kind of games being played, because Mick Foley Mankind is the brand new event card that is going to be taking its place this week in ring domination again. And a lot of people are not very happy about that because it's not PCC. Lots of people thinking that maybe ring domination shouldn't be every single you know, second week. People get bored of ring domination, road to glory, ring domination, road to glory. Are you getting bored of Ring Domination Road to Glory? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, make sure you hit a huge thumbs up on this video. If you can hit as hard as freaking possible, that'd be amazing. And as many times as we possibly can get up to, let's try and end on an even number. Let's try that as a little experiment. Let's try to end the likes on an even number. That'd be great. But let's have a look at that Mankind card, the brand new event card for this week. No one knows what the other cards are before anyone puts it in the comment section. No one knows what the other old <laughs> Ring Domination cards. In fact, this card was revealed like a day or two earlier than when it was supposed to. It was hinted at last week. A lot of people were just saying, it's a brand new tier. It's this huge new thing that's going to happen. And then suddenly, no, no, this is the normal Mankind event card, although he is OP as hell. He does lose to one of the event cards in free stats, which is Goldberg. But given only like 20 people have Goldberg, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, it's probably more than that. But the event Goldberg does completely thrash him. But that toughness though, absolutely crazy toughness. Great power, great charisma. Kind of iffy against Bret Hart. But, you know, he's not the best event card in the game. He's second against Bret Hart. But still an amazing card to have. And for a lot of people, this is their first event card. So this is going to be really useful, especially... With that toughness. Reminds me of The Undertaker from Ring Domination Season 1. If anyone remembers all the way back then, their stats on that card were just absolutely insane. Stats on this card are just as crazy. Maybe if you was to increase the charisma a little bit, this card could just be OP as hell. Let me know what you think about Mankind's card in the comment section below. But it does leave one question unanswered. One question. And that is, what the hell was that hint about the John Cena thing? They said to pay attention to Royal Rumble Week. Well, we're about to get into Royal Rumble Week. A lot of things have happened on WWE. If you haven't seen Raw already, spoilers coming up. But uh, Seth's out of the Rumble. Sami Zayn's in it. And it's now potentially become one of the underdogs to be able to get into it. And I've actually got an upload coming up in the next day or two, which is the top 10 surprise entrance. Maybe one of those could take it. I was going to segue out so you can see King of the Ring Awards and also getting the rewards from Team Ring Domination. And before we do that, we've got a really special unboxing for you. WrestleCrate this month. Go check it out. In fact, there's a couple of items in there which I literally love. So enjoy. So happy for this. I've got this really in the post today. Um, I've got a screw to open it with because I don't have any scissors with me. So I'm going to open this up now. And if you want to get yourself your own WrestleCrate, all you got to do is go to www.wrestlecrate.co.uk and type in the code ZOMG. Get yourself a 10% off voucher, which means that you're going to get yourself this for less than you normally pay because you just watched this video. So let's have a look inside. I'm going to show you guys before I show you myself, okay? Bromanda has died. Oh, hang on a second. We have to get Stromander back. Stromander. Where, where is Stromander? Fix Braun. Everyone, everyone's going crazy because Braun's not here. I'm so sorry. You can have... Foxmander. The Foxmander. Let's open the damn crate already. Let's open up. Hopefully there's nothing breaks when I open up. And here it is. Ta-da! Ooh. I'm already really, really excited because I've just seen the name of something inside here. Uh, I've seen quite a few things in here which are quite cool. Thing I got ludicrously excited about. It's a Kevin Owens, a KO Funko Pop. That 
is awesome. Yay! Funko Pop! Uh, and it's so well detailed as well. Um, any just for men inside that box? No. Damn. There you go. So Funko Pop Kevin Owens is definitely staying. There may be some things that I see here. I don't know really about, but I need your help if I don't recognize them. But T-shirt is... Ooh, I like that. Okay, right, here you go. Uh, that is possibly... Initially, it looks like Santa with a straw hat. But actually, if you look very closely... It's actually Bray Wyatt. And that is actually quite cool. And it's like a card. It's like a playing card. That's actually a really sick design. Whoever designed that, you're a genius. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I absolutely... This is... A, that's amazing. That's being worn. I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's incredible. This is... Preston City Wrestling is Paige's mum. Is it Soraya Knight? Soraya Knight in there? But most importantly, who's on the front? Noam Dar. They're featuring Noam Dar a lot because he, he's actually very, very cool. Very, very good. So this is a Preston City Wrestling. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, then check it out on... I mean, there's a couple of people here who have also been on World of Sport as well. Right, there's also Calling Spots magazine. Calling Spots. Uh, this wasn't in the first crate I got, but it was in the second crate. And this is like a, a, a magazine where you can... Oh, you see awesome pictures and stuff. At least some of the press pictures you don't get to see and whatnot, but... I mentioned this before uh, in the previous one. This is about NXT, and this also talks about Charlotte the Rock, WrestleMania, some of the indie wrestling before they go up into the main leagues and stuff. Um, there's something about the UKC team, WCPW. There's uh, Dunn here, Pete Dunn, in uh, indie promotion. I think this is WCPW. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, it is WCPW. This. You won't be able to see up front, okay? Is a Shockmaster pin. <laughs> that is absolutely genius. The sparkle on it is just perfect. It's a Shockmaster pin. Go check out the Shockmaster because it's one of the funniest wrestling moments ever. And this is a signed poster of Jimmy Havoc. The bit I love is it's in gold pen. Love it, love it, love it. And we have a poster in here as well. And inside the poster box, or the roll. And you can see on there Pete Dunn, Jack Gallagher, and the other two three guys. I have no idea who they are, but I'm sure I'll be corrected. Just I don't recognize them from their pictures. There you go, better. Much, much better. But uh, yeah, that is great for this month. Remember, code ZOMG. <laughs> www.wrestlecrate.co.uk Good job, Wrestlecrate. You're the man. King of the Ring Awards. I was at the King of the Ring with a couple of guys, and honestly, I, I managed to skip them. I did, literally didn't play for like, the first like 11 games. Uh, somehow I managed to bring it back, and two back, and Raw Zero, maybe. Person faced up in the semis. I came out on top. GG. All is good in the world of JB. And I'm going to claim it. Gilly, did he honest? Yes, I will do the honours. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Mm, hello. Hi there. Hi. Uh, right. <clears throat> this would be a pro for me. Ooh. Okay. Um, three stats at 6k. Mm -hmm. One at 5.9. <clears throat> Interesting. High stat charisma. Interesting. Lowest stat power. Okay. Props, obviously, in charisma and speed. Okay. I'm going to throw a big, big guess into this one. Well, um, is it Bailey? It is! Hey, it's Bailey! <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, <laughs> just look at the elite card. I'll let you, I'll let you see the elite card. But hey, who wants a baby? She's got a booty. Shit, oh wow. Imagine. <laughs> Just imagine if that was reversed. That can and be I would have been like. Shameless. You look stupid. 
It's a shame it's Seamus. Fella! And we got Bailey! Yay! Oh, uh, it's only mm -hmm. a single, though. It's only at the end of the freaking tier that I start getting females. I mean, come on. Again? But I am happy with that King of the Reward. At least I get to keep it, lock it up, and it's done. Yep. I'm happy with that. I know. Much better. You know why? Because I was using both my fingers. <laughs> Fucking computer. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Ooh. It was using both microphones, so you again, joint audio. Listen, chat, don't get any ideas, alright? Jesus fucking Christ. Ooh. Uh, Jesus H. Christ. Ah! <laughs> you go, it ain't you. I'm <laughs> uh, going. <laughs> YOLO. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye, Kendo. <laughs> Kendo, they always loved you. They always hated you at the same time. <laughs> then, now, Kendo. <laughs> no to Kendo! Or well, is that actually technically I have to say now yes to Kendo. So, here comes Nia Jackson for once. I'm just going to show you guys now, because you've seen the King of the Ring awards that I've got. So, I now actually have quite a few single female cards. Let's go. Let's go to females. I go to ultimate cards. I've got Bailey. I've got Nia Jackson. Nia Jax. Finally, is a pro that I have got from an event or from something from King of the Ring, whatever. And it's the first time that a super card have given a female as a uh, as a team event card or as an undercard, and I've actually got a pro of it. So here comes Nia Jax. Good single ladies. It's a pro. It's Nia Jax, and she's better. And she's better than uh, Natalia by quite a distance. So she will be going into my uh, King of the Ring deck. Very, very happy about that. I still haven't leveled up Neville all the way, which is going to be my duty now. I'm going to get Nia Jax leveled up probably during um, after Ring Dom is done. Because, you know, more King of the Ring bands and stuff like that. But hey, let's lock her in. Uh, let's get Nia Jax locked in. It's a pro. Very, very happy about that. Uh, first Nia is already leveled up. Now I've got to level up the second Nia. Ah, very, very happy. Finally got myself a decent female pro. And that's about it from me. So, Nia Jax is our latest female pro that we have got. I'm so happy I've got her. Yes, of course. I love a Bailey pro, but Bailey doesn't tag with any of my cards. So, getting Nia Jax, perfect. Thank you very much. But, I did forget one card. Now, I've not been able to play today for Ring Domination. I was hoping I'd be able to play a bit of Ring Domination for you. But if uh, RD action, you know, more shards to pull because you don't put enough shards on the board already. And travel enough roads to glory. I'm not being salty. I'm just joking. I'm just trolling you guys. We're going to get ourselves a Staten Island Princess. Carmella. If that's a pro. And it's a pro for a lot of people. In fact, for one WWE Supercard YouTuber in, in particular, it's a big pro. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm glad that that's happened for that person. Let you guys guess who. And um, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the lack of gameplay. We will be having more gameplay. I promise you that. But don't forget about the comment section below. Why? Are you sick of Ring Domination, Road to Glory, RD, RTG, RD, RT? Who do you think is going to win the Royal Rumble? And your latest King of the Ring awards. Comment section below. And that's me done. Remember to leave a huge like on this video. As many as possible. Great way to your network there. Thanks, network. Way to end the video for me. Also, remember to share the description for details to Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. And one last thing, and there's two. Safe!